Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Today we are looking at the 1962 Lincoln Penny, how much these pennies can actually be worth, and why such a common dated coin can actually be valuable. All right, so first off here, we're going to look at this first penny. Now, if you're not really paying attention to this, you can kind of not really see anything going on here because it is in a graded coin holder. Now, if we zoom in there to the top of the penny, you can see that, you know, the top of it is cut off. That is actually a genuine mint error. It happened when uh, the coin was in the mint being created. It is a straight clip and that will give the coin some extra value. It's not a super rare error or anything, but it is something that can add value to your coins. The coin is ended up selling for $31, not too bad for a penny in that condition. Now this next coin, obviously we're now finding stuff like this in a coin roll, so we'll go through this one really quick. It has been double struck. There are all kinds of different, different types of double strikes that can take place on you know just about any coin, but this coin here ended up selling for around $100 at auction, graded at a 62. All right, here's another double strike that sold for over $500. You can actually see the date there uh, twice because of that double strike, struck 90% off center. Really, uh, really, really cool mint error to add to a coin collection, 500 bucks there. All right, this next coin, definitely something you can look for in pocket change or in coin rolls from the bank. Now this coin here has a die break. So if we zoom in to the rim of the coin down there by the shoulder of Lincoln, you could see that little extra metal there on the rim of the coin. Now that will give the coin some extra value as well. It is a die break also referred to as a cud. We've looked at numerous of these in my other coin videos and this coin ended up selling for around $80 at auction. Now of course the condition or the grade can impact the value as well. And also when coin grading companies are grading your Lincoln pennies, they will either grade at a brown, red brown, or red. Red is always the best, of course. So here's an example of what that kind of looks like, a chart showing you, you know, red, red, brown, and uh, brown. That is, you know, basically what the coin looks like, the color of the Lincoln penny. Now this next coin here is something you can look for in pocket change or and a coin roll from the bank as well. I found one of these myself, and this coin sold for $300, surprisingly. It is graded at a 66 red. A 70 is the highest or the best grade you can get on the coin grading scale. The coin has been struck through a capped die. So the die is what comes down. It has the design on it and strikes the planchet in order to create the coin. It puts the design onto the planchet to create the Lincoln penny. This has been struck through a capped die. So 300 bucks for that penny. Now we did look at that clipped penny uh, to begin this video with. Here's another clip taking place on a 1962 penny. Straight clip, but the coin was also struck off center as well. So that will add some extra value. The coin ended up selling for around $150. So again, 1962 pennies, very, very common year to have. It's not super rare to have a 1962 penny, but if you have one at a very, very top grade or have one that has a mint error like this, it can add value to your penny. This next coin sold for around $60 at auction. You can see that it has an indent here on the obverse of the penny. So about 60 bucks for that coin. This next coin has a lamination. Now this is pretty cool because it does have that piece of lamination in a coin holder as well, a coin slab uh, that is graded here. So laminations, again, you can look for these in coin rolls from the bank when you're coin roll hunting. Uh, you can look for these in circulation. I have found tons of laminations over the years. This coin sold for around $90 at auction with that fragment there. So pretty cool, 90 bucks for those two. Now here's an off center strike. Obviously it kind of speaks for itself. The coin sold for a little over $100. Now this is very off center, 85% off center. You can have a coin that's only 5% off center. Um, you know, that is not as as noticeable as this. And obviously a penny like this is not fitting in a coin roll or at least the penny roll. All right, now let's move on to a coin that sold for over $1,300. We've looked at many different examples of this type of error taking place on all kinds of different dated pennies. This is a 1962 penny design that was struck onto a Roosevelt dime. So that will make it extremely valuable. Uh, the coin is graded and authenticated. So again, we have a Lincoln penny design struck on a Roosevelt dime planchet. So the coin sold for over $1,300 as a result 
of that mint error. Now this coin here was struck onto a split planchet. So the design here struck onto a split planchet kind of speaks for itself as well. It's not super valuable. It is a brown penny. You know, had this been graded at a red or a higher mint state grade than a 62, it could have sold for more money. But in this condition, the penny sold for 30 bucks. Now here's another example of that error taking place on a 1962 Lincoln cent. And this penny ended up selling for $51 at auction. So always inspect your 1962 pennies because you never know what you may find out there. And don't forget guys, we have coin mats available right now on couchcollectibles.com. Couchcollectibles.com, click that link down below this video, solo.to slash couchcollectibles, and you will see all of my products that I have listed on there that I recommend, uh, especially for people getting into coin collecting or just coin collectors in general. So feel free to check out that link in the comments below. Coin mats are on there, coin microscopes, everything you could think of. Just scroll down through there and you'll see all the products that I have available. All right, guys, if you want a coin mat, they are available right now on couchcollectibles.com. We have the nickel mat, penny mat, quarter mat, Mat and half dollar coin mat. A lot of dates updated and added, RPMs, all the way up until 2023 here on the penny mats. Super soft for your coins, nice and rubber, light, easy to you know fold up, carry wherever you want. And then bam, you wanna go through your coins, you get your roll of coins, break it out on there, save the ones you want, key dates or any errors that you find or any silver. You can actually get these right now on couchcollectibles.com. Hit the link in the comments below if you guys wanna pick up all four. You can get all four for a deal that are a lot cheaper than buying them individually. So feel free to pick one up in the comments below, couchcollectibles.com.